Hello everyone, welcome in my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you seeding data in ASP.NET Core. So uh, in 2.0 we have a deep initializer class but in 3.0 and 3.1 and uh, the above version you can uh, seed data in uh, your DB context class. In your context class you can say. So here we have to add a new data. So, so first of all uh, just check um, uh, data. Uh, exist in the class uh, exist in the table that is not exist so how to see the data first time when your application run so just you have to check again um, seeding data the default uh, home index uh, class is empty that like the name and the city so how to do this uh, just uh, just a simple step you can say just type uh, override inside the class uh, override on model creating that is the uh, method you can add on model creating with the model builder class uh, by using first of all delete the class uh, de delete this method and use model builder model builder dot entity of student dot has data and that method is used to insert data when your migration applied so just you have to add migration in it here like uh, new uh, new student and in which you can add the student ID is one and uh, there is the default ID is the primary key so there is a no uh, to add in in your database table so like looking like one oops, one and uh, name property is Jacob and uh, city equals New York okay that's fine you have to add a data in ESP.NET core application so there is if you want to add a new uh, uh, data um, in the student class just copy that uh, code and uh, paste it here there is so this is the thing you can do name Jacob like name Smith New York City okay just after that you have to apply a migration package manager console add migration Okay, after to do this, uh, update data. Yeah, that is succeed, and uh, you have to notice that uh, in the uh, student class we have some data. Just check it Jacob and the Smith, New York, New York City, and also you have to see data in your uh, main page there is so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos so uh, if you have a bulk of uh, data inside it here you make a uh, extension method for the uh, model builder class so uh, just add a new folder inside your uh, project like uh, helper function uh, helper folder inside the helper folder you have to add a new class uh, that is seed seeding data seeding data uh, student seeding data you can say and that cl that class makes must to add public static and uh, 
public add a new method public uh, static void seed in which you can add uh, model builder uh, parameter that is and in which you can add looking like this that is this uh, if you make uh, that is the extension uh, method must to add this keywords before adding parameters so resolve that issue and just copy that uh, code inside it here just control x and uh, paste it here just remove it and paste it inside it here there is resolve student and again you have to add a new data looking like three John and uh, okay New York okay that's fine and uh, in application DB context you have to use model builder uh, dot that method is used that is the extension method that is seed there is no dot seed okay so apply migration uh, add migration third and update database there is a third column that is three side the column okay and you have to check your data so you can separate that uh, seeding data inside your class there is so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to asp.net core thank you very much for watching